The UAV is designed considering maneuverability, stability and optimal mission time to be able to complete all of the mission tasks. UAV is designed as X-frame quadcopter with four motors that are attached to the end of the cylindrical carbon fiber arms. The main frame consists of two square carbon fiber plates to achieve lightweight and durability. The total takeoff weight is 15.4 pounds. 22-inch hybrid carbon propellers and T-motor MN60072 have been chosen to achieve sufficient thrust. The thrust weight ratio of UAV is 3.17. The flight speed is 26 knots. Pixel Cube Orange is used as a flight controller and the RTK HERE 3G PF system is used both on UAS and UGV for high accuracy. Electronics are placed properly to avoid the interference between high current passing cables and electronics, such as GPS and flight controller. For end one, electronic speed controller is used to reduce weight and complexity. Also, the Hobbywing Extrator 60 Amperes electronic speed controller offers high performance on tasks. For power supply, four pack of 3S34 lithium-ion batteries are connected as two parallel and two series, which supply a total of 24,000 milliamperes 6S 8B lithium-ion battery. For communication, the team used CE MK15 as an all-in-one system to communicate with the drone. A stable and high rate of tra data transmission provided for a safe and successful mission via this system. SSH-based file transfer protocols are used for image and telemetry transferring over Ethernet link. On the UGB side, RF the TX mode telemetry with Terranes QX7 controller is preferred because of long range and easy integration solutions. For obstacle avoidance, a graph based algorithm is developed for autonomous path generating. The algorithm uses a star search algorithm to find a short and convenient path. For autonomous ODLC, a dataset generator is created for training the YOLO version 5 model, and YOLO version 5 is trained with huge number of data, but the result didn't satisfy the expected success and due to the limited time, ODLC will be done manually. For manual ODLC, a graphical user interface is created for manual object detection. For mapping, a survey algorithm is developed to create a survey path of the map. Also, open drum map is used to create the map from photos. Robot operating system with C++ is used to implement all of the subsystems individually and merge them at the end. Subsystems are designed to reduce code duplication and provide maximum efficiency. Airbender's UAV team plans to attempt all the mission tasks in the competition. Autonomous flight, waypoint capture, waypoint accuracy, and obstacle avoidance will be attempted with high confidence. In ODLC, autonomy will be attempted with low confidence, while characteristics and geolocation with high and actionable with medium confidence. Mapping will be attempted with high, drop accuracy with medium, and drive to location with high confidence. To test and compare the trust data of the motors provided by the manufacturer and ensure the motors are working properly, a mechanism is designed and manufactured by the team, so it is possible to validate the data of the manufacturer. Before and during design, stress analysis of components is made with the help of engineering design software. Components are designed according to the results of the analysis to prevent any failure in the system. Autonomous flight is tested in both simulation and real-time. The team conducted about 50 real-time autonomous flights, which correspond to about 6 hours of flight time. After the first tests, almost all of the flight tests were autonomous, including takeoff and landing. All autonomous missions are predetermined from the ground station and uploaded to the aircraft. To increase flight speed and to minimize the deceleration in turns, acceleration parameters and PID tuning parameters are adjusted. Waypoint performance is tested on about 1000 waypoints, and the UAV has captured all the waypoints with a miss rate of about 10 feet. To increase accuracy in waypoints, PID tuning is adjusted and acceptance radius is minimized from the ground station. The trade-off between waypoint accuracy and flight time is adjusted to get the highest score. Obstacle avoidance algorithm is tested firstly on simulation to ensure that the algorithm is working properly and then tested on real-time. Both competition-style waypoints paths and mapping survey paths are tested with the algorithm. The algorithm is also tested with different flight boundaries and difficult waypoint paths to see the accuracy rate of the constructed path. For about 10 different simulation and real-time tests and about 50 obstacles, the obstacle avoidance algorithm successfully finds an optimal path for all tests and avoids collision with all of the obstacles without leaving the flight boundary. Raspberry Pi high-quality camera is preferred since it is easily adjustable with specific parameters. Since there is a survey path that the mapping algorithm is created and flight time is important, the camera should capture as much area as possible with high resolution. For the true geolocation, shutter speed is decreased. 
To obtain consistent images for ODLC, the team designed 3D printed 2-axis camera gimbal, which provides stable image capturing during the mapping task. The effect of gimbal system can be seen in comparing before and after captures. To ensure the best quality image, camera calibration is required. To calibrate the camera, a transformation matrix is used that is acquired from the matrix to reduce the fisheye effect on the chessboard image. There are also some parameters such as brightness, ISO and shutter speed that are used to get better image quality. The parameters are arranged with almost 200 images that has different brightness, shutter speed, ISO and capture type from the ground. Taking this data, the flying altitude determined as 150 feet. With the final improvements, alphanumerics and colors are easily detectable. The average resolution of images is 3056 x 4040 pixels and the average resolution of the objects is almost 10,000 square pixels. For the autonomous image detection, the YOLO model was considered sufficient and a data generator was designed to train the model. Shape and the alphanumeric characteristics of the object planned to find with the YOLO algorithm. However, the expected performance could not get reached. Since the success rate of the model was about 30%, so an interface built to find the features of the object manually. The manual ODCL interface was designed in a way that enables to find the required features of the objects. In order to find the geolocalization of the objects, an algorithm is designed that works with the manual ODCL interface. To find the true geolocation of an object, image and the position information of the aircraft should be taken simultaneously, therefore the shutter speed of the camera is reduced. The localization performance is tested on 13 different objects with 20 images. The average localization error is 20 feet. For the mapping task, a path planning algorithm which can avoid obstacles and generate waypoints according to camera and flight parameters is designed. A visual interface is being used as support to be sure that the mapping path is generated without any error and with the minimum path length. An open source project, OpenDrop Map, will be used to generate map from photos. On the task, photos will be transmitted with their GPS location to speed up the mapping process. The task was tested two times without GPS data and the average time for creating map was 10 minutes and two times with GPS data, and its average time for creating map was three minutes. The generated maps contains all the required area, and they have a satisfying quality. During the first test of the drop mechanism, instead of UGV, an alternative weight that equals the weight of the UGV is used to ensure the mechanism works. Initially, the mechanism was tested alone to prevent any damage to the UAS. First tests were conducted by releasing the mechanism from a high building, and after every test, the mechanism is optimized as required. After these tasks are completed successfully, the mechanism is assembled to the UAS and the competition mission is tested. The data acquired from the testing is as follows. 23 attempts are made from the top of the building at 40 feet. The success rate of the tests without UAS was initially below 40%. After reaching a 70% success rate, the mechanism was started to be tested on the UAS. In 10 out of 14 of these tasks, the payload was successfully delivered to the ground from above 105 feet. The density of the drop location is as shown. The mechanism can deliver the payload within the 40 inch target radius. To prepare ourselves for the competition and to get a real competition simulation environment, we created six different full mission tests from the Interrupt Server interface. After testing the six missions in the simulation environment and two missions in real time, the team conducted some potential problems and improvements for the competition. Doing real time mission tests, Task allocation has been made as captain, safety pilot, setup process responsible, communication responsible, manual detection responsible, and checker of flight data. The full mission tests are graded according to the provided rubric, and results are as follows. In timeline, expected total time was 30 minutes, and current time is approximately 40 minutes, resulting in 0.6 current score from 0.8 expected score. In autonomous flight, an obstacle avoidance expected score of 0.9 and 1 respectively was reached. In ODCL, mapping, and airdrop, expected score was 0.8 points, and current results are 0.6 points. Operational excellence was expected with 0.95, and the current result is 0.85. The total expected performance was calculated as 85%, and current performance is 70%.